Hi, I'm Donald Rayner and I work here in St. Stephen's Green and today I'm going to talk about hanging baskets and I'm going to show you how to do a hanging basket. This is the one here in true Blue Peter fashion. We have one here prepared earlier and as you can see, beautiful summer display, pride of place in any house, gardens. Now, so the first thing you need to do is have a, a good basket. I'm going to use this pot here. I find it good to have a, a firm base. It's a bit of compost there and I place the pot in here so it doesn't wobble all over the place. So the first plant you really start off with is your standard geranium. Now this is a lovely geranium called bullseye, beautiful red leaf um, on it and beautiful red flower. So I'm going to place this in the central section of the basket and then I'll build out from that. Now because it's a hanging basket you need hanging plants so there's a lovely a hanging geranium and this is arctic red beautiful beautiful color now i'll place this in the side now you have to watch the chains there but we'll place that there and make sure you don't break the plant there because it's quite delicate in that respect now the next plant we have here beautiful nasturtium or as my son used to say nasty nasturtiums beautiful plant beautiful flower and the, the leaves are edible some people stuff the flowers. I don't think I'd have time for that now, to be honest, but the leaves are peppery to eat. Now, we're going to put in our trailing Numelara folia, lovely plant. And you can see I'm building up the layers of trailing plants. Now, and here's the Lobelia, another trailing plant. You can see it here in these pots beautiful trailing down. This is a slightly different variety, but it's lovely. And we just place that inside there. And now we've Ageratum. This is more upright, bushy kind of plant, but you can see the flower, flower stalks there now. I'll move that in here, place that in the side, place that there. And we build up the layers of plants. Now, the thing to do is to move the basket around and plant your lobelia or your trailing plants so, so they're not all at the front or at the side of one side. You've got to make sure that you've got a, um, a good range of trailing plants right around the basket itself. Now, we have beautiful Nemesia there, a trailing plant, a relation of the uh, snapdragon first cousin of the snapdragon actually. So we place that in and there again, that's another trailer. Um, we place that in. Now, yeah, and there's just one spot left, I think that I can get a marigold. See that beautiful marigold pascal, beautiful flowers on it. Nice bushy little plant. And I'll just stick this in, in here. Yeah and I have some compost just to fill in the gaps that I have. Now, it's very important that you keep these baskets watered because they're getting hit with the wind and the sun and they're drying out very, very quickly. So I have in the compost some swell gel, which is a bit like wallpaper paste that swells out. It's crystals that you buy in the the, the shop, the garden centre, and the plants can suck away at that and it helps that they won't dry out with the baskets themselves. So little and often the water and as with all jobs in gardening when you plant make sure you give a drop of water to the plants that you've just planted. It'll bed them all in and give them a firm foundation for your hanging basket. So this basket you'll be able to enjoy until the autumn. 